Hey everyone, it's Joy here for Honeybee Stamps. I have two cards for you today that share the Seeds of Kindness stamp set and the Seed Packet Die, and you can put a little gift card inside. Okay, so I'm starting with the Secret Garden A2 cover plate, and here is that Seed Packet Die, and I'm gonna die cut those twice from white cardstock. And then here is that Seeds of Kindness stamp set. I'm gonna be using the tulips and the strawberries. I have the coordinating dies for the two sentiments that I will be using on these cards. So one of them is gonna be, you could use like a thank you, and then the other one is for a birthday, but it's perfect for adding a little gift card to. So like I said, I'm going to die cut the background, the Secret Garden A2 cover plate die twice from white cardstock, and the, and the seed packet die twice from white cardstock. So I have that seed packet die, the first one in one of my misties. I'm actually gonna use two of my misties for this. You guys can decide how you would do it. But I'm going to stamp this in black ink. I'm going to do my coloring with Copic markers. Then I'm gonna come back in and stamp it again with some clear ink and do some clear embossing on it. I want the outline to be shiny. So I want to keep my image in my misty and not move it so I can just put my cardstock back in and my stamp will line up with it perfectly. So that's why I'm using two misties. If you just did one card, it's not a big deal. So here is the other image in my mini misty. I'm lining it up on the front, what would be the front part of the die. And then again, I'm using some black cardstock, or excuse me, black ink from Honeybee Stamps, their intense black ink. Stamping that a couple times to get a good, crisp black image. I am gonna put those aside to dry because I am gonna do some Copic coloring and I want that to dry a little bit. So let's do the backgrounds. Let's do some simple ink blending. This first one, I'm gonna be doing the Kitsch Flamingo ink and I'm just going to ink blend the outside really dark and then I'm gonna fade it in nice and light in the center. You're not gonna see much of the center because the, the packet is going to cover it, but I was hoping that you could see a little more of the light area. Now, I should have not gone in so far with it being dark to see that there was a fading, but it happened and it's totally fine. But anyways, you could use this for a different project too, and it's really, really pretty. So I'm using the Waffle Flower Mini Stencil Mat to stencil, and it helps my paper to not slide. And I'm using Honeybee Stamps Blender Brushes to blend this on. For the next one, I will be using Festive Berries. That's the one that's gonna go behind the strawberries. And then that pink one's gonna be going behind the tulips. So I'm gonna just bring that in and do the same ink blending on that. This is a great color combination. I think that, that, that the colors match nicely, but they're a lot softer than what we're going to be coloring with the Copic markers. So again, here's that festive berries. I'm really heavy on the frame. And then letting the rest of what's on my brush just kind of blend into the center of these leaves. And I think this is a great cover die. I love this cover die. Beautiful. Okay, let's color these images. So you will see the caps to my markers on the screen there, and that's the colors that I'm using. I really wanted it to feel bright, so I definitely used brighter, darker colors, if that makes sense. Like the greens are definitely a brighter color. I've, I've been really doing a lot of soft coloring and soft colors lately, but something about this felt like it could handle a really bright, dark color. So of course these strawberries are just gorgeous and I really wanna add some nice, good dark shadows between the strawberries because I, I feel like that makes the strawberries themselves stand out a little bit better. Then there is the beautiful green leaves and then you have the little strawberry blossoms on there. I'm gonna keep those white, but I will add a little bit of a light gray marker to those to actually give them some dimension. So here are the beautiful leaves. I love these leaves, I think they're stunning. And I will not be ink blending this packet itself. I'm just going to color these images and that's what's gonna be colored. Everything else will be white. I will come in with, it's an E40 marker to the background inside where the strawberries are just so it has a little bit of a difference between that and the background white. I don't know that you guys are gonna notice it much on the camera because sometimes those really light colors like that are hard to differentiate. So 
but that's what I'm doing and that's my reasoning. I did bring in a little bit of a darker color here with the G29 to add just, I don't know, the G28 wasn't quite dark enough, so the G29, I brought that in and that kind of added some more uh, shading to it. Then I brought in a little bit of a darker red, I think it was the R89, nope, R59 to make that the shadows a little bit darker. So here's the C1 and I'm just kind of tracing a little bit of the C1 on the flowers and in real life you can tell that it's giving it some dimension again I don't know that you're going to tell on camera but it is important it doesn't look flat those flowers look like they've been colored then I'm coming in with my yellows Y00, 02, and 08 for that little frame and for the banner sentiments I will color this strawberries part of the banner because the other part I'm going to pop up and I'm using a a smaller die it's not going to have the curly cues at the end which is on purpose there is that die but I'm not using that die so there's that e40 for the background and then I decided to color the five cents little part in red I brought in the c2 to add some shadows behind some of those images and I thought this was a mistake but actually I'm liking it now once I did the clear embossing on it but I thought coloring that little five cents red was a mistake so I think that's a personal choice okay so here is rv 63 55 and 66 for these beautiful tulips this is a really beautiful kind of a bright purpley pink i think and i'm just going to color these i'm adding that darker color at the bottom kind of highlighting some of those uh, lines in the flowers and then finishing out with that RV63 at the very end. And I'm gonna come back in and do that twice. Again, if you follow me, if you know how I color, I like to do things like that twice because I feel like I, that's where I get a good blend for what I like. I'm gonna add some yellow to the little stamens on the inside. I'm gonna do a yellow frame on this as well. I'm keeping everything kind of similar other than obviously coloring the flowers and the <laughs> strawberries different. So here are the greens. I used some different greens on this, YG25, 17, and 67. I felt like the other green would be a little too dark for the tulips. So again, just adding some shading, following along some of the lines, blending it out with the lightest color, which is that YG25. And I love how this turned out. I think it's so, so pretty. I think the seed packet or the Seeds of Kindness stamp set is so pretty. There's something to me so vintagey looking about it. I just absolutely love it. So here I'm going to do that frame and then again the inside will be that E40 and the banner will be that same yellow combination of um, Y0002 and 08 and I'm just being careful around the sentiments to not kind of smear that with the black ink and then I'm going to color that with that light RV color. And then that is done. Super, super, super cute. Oh, you guys could probably see now that E40 changes that background just a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this back in my Misty because I have not moved my stamp. That has been the same. I'm making sure I everything's nice and lined up, which it should be. I'm going to prep this really well with an anti-static powder tool. I'm using the first image that I colored because that's gonna be more dry. I'm using Honeybee Stamps Clear Ink and I'm gonna stamp that and then sprinkle on the clear embossing powder. I am making sure that my heat tool is on and is nice and hot before I take it to my paper. And then as it melts, you just have this nice shine to it. I love it. I think it's so, so pretty. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for my next image. So I'm gonna bring in that, the mini Misty, line up my little seed packet, and then just do the same exact thing I was doing before. Uh, if you have not, if you don't have a Misty, you should get one. And I didn't have one. I mean, I've had one for a long time now, but I didn't have one. And I was like, do I actually really need that? Oh my gosh, yes, you do. <laughs> Especially for stuff like this. And the reason why I'm doing it like this is because embossing powder can ruin your Copic marker tips. So that's why I'm doing the embossing after. So you could do this with a gold embossing or a silver embossing powder. It doesn't have to be clear. But doing it after is going to save your alcohol ink tips, alcohol ink marker tips. Okay, so I'm going to fold this on the score lines. I'm going to do this for both of these seed packets, obviously. I'm going to fold them down, and there's the one on the bottom and the side. 
that I'm gonna add some score tape to. The reason why I'm adding score tape is because I'm hoping someone is gonna use this for a gift card and I don't want it falling apart and I don't want the gift card to fall out. So I'm gonna remove that release paper and then you just fold this, that bottom piece kind of tucks into the side piece and it just folds and closes and I'm just making sure that everything, all the corners are gonna line up nice which they do, and using my bone folder to press that down. Now here are the die cut banners um, for the sentiments. I'm gonna die cut those first. I think with wavy sentiments especially, I just wanna make sure that it's nice and lined up. And so I'm just putting the negative piece in my mini Misty. And I'm gonna line it up. I'm actually gonna remove the die cut. I'm gonna line it up. I feel like I could see it better with that grid paper behind it. Then I'm gonna bring in the next sentiment, line that up, and then I can just pop those die cuts back in and stamp that with the black ink. And I love these sentiments. The one for the strawberry says, seeds of kindness, and the tulips say, birthday wishes. So fantastic little sentiments, and I love that these are wavy banners. I'm gonna color these with the same yellow. Again, that's the Y00, 02, and 08. Just really quickly, and being careful again around the black marker. I'm just kind of going in and through those areas because I don't want to smear that. Even though this is alcohol ink friendly, I didn't, I didn't air dry it long enough, so I'm just being careful. So I'm gonna finish coloring that and then we can get these cards put together. So I'm coming in with some liquid glue. I'm going to add the glue to the frame and then just some dots around on some of those leaves and I will adhere this to a white A2 size card base. I'm gonna do this for both of my backgrounds. But see how pretty that faded in the center? If I didn't have the packet covering it, um, then you could really, really notice it. So here is that red one for the strawberries. Then I'm gonna add some foam tape behind the sentiment because I love my sentiments to have dimension. Super cute. And I love this pop of yellow, especially with the red, but I think it's beautiful on both. Now I've got some Baker's twine. It's kind of um, a really light tan with a little bit of gold. And I'm just gonna tie that around the top of both of my seed packets and add a little bit of glue underneath that knot to hold it in place. Then some foam tape behind the seed packets and I'm gonna center that right in the card panels, right in the center of the card panels. And that's gonna give that a little bit of dimension. And then you can just slide a gift card right into the back. I don't even think that you need to close that top lid because I think it's gonna stay in there nice and snug, but your recipient can fold that little flap towards themselves to get that gift card out. Super, super simple. So there's that little dot of glue underneath those knots to hold that in place. And then I'm coming in with the, um, the small dew drops and just adding a few of those around on the card panels. And then these cards are finished. And I love how they turned out. I feel they're so spring and so fun and so different. But super easy ink blending, some beautiful Copic coloring, and then you've got this great card with a little surprise gift card holder in the front. So there's that strawberry one and then the beautiful tulips. And again, I love that pop of yellow. I hope that you guys like this video and I hope that you guys feel inspired. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks, bye.